today I'm going to do a quick follow-up of my installation of Octoprint on Windows and now I have two different sessions running on the same machine and I will show you how I did that from the information that I found on the community. So I have one machine that is running on port 5000 and another machine that is running on port 5001. This one has the camera running on it, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but they're both printing and both working just fine running from the same little mini PC that I have set up. There may be other ways to do this, I don't know, this is how I did it, so use at your own risk. Repeating the instructions that were given on the community page, I installed a second instance in a second folder of Octoprint in Octoprint 2 and set all the scripts up the same way, but in those scripts that are pulled up, there is a little bit more information that tells it where to open and which port to use. So in the second bat file of the second installation, the path goes to that second installation folder, but also includes this base directory and port indication that are necessary for it to run a second instance essentially using a different port on the same machine. And you could change that port to any usable port that is available. It doesn't have to be that, I'm just using that because that's what the default was, so I just increased it by one. And I'm just going to be using it locally, so it's not a big deal. I have the scripts in the startup folder, so I have both of them that come up when the computer starts, and it also automatically starts this camera view that I have, which, as you can see, uses a ton of processing power. You don't want to overwork your machine. The more instances you have, the more resources that will be used. If your computer is struggling to keep up while it's processing these printing files, it could affect and make your prints not very good if it's struggling to keep up with the processes that are being sent to the printer. I did find that the main culprit was not necessarily those computations of converting the prints to be sent into the G-code to the printer, but actually, as was expected, the video processing for the camera that is set up. So even with as few resources as this machine that I am currently using has, I could easily run probably four, maybe five instances of Octoprint as long as I'm not using any video. So for my setup on this machine, I did remove the yaw cam and it no longer starts when the computer starts and that put my processing usage down to about 16%. I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but when you first set up your Octoprint for each machine to keep them separated, start with one machine connected with a USB cable and make sure that the settings are set to use that same COM port for that USB cable or that port on your machine and then set up the next one and it will show you the next available port and that way it's differentiated by which port it uses in the settings. So make sure that you have that saved and everything else should be just fine. If you need more information, make sure to check out the community and look through some of their posts. That's all I did and was able to get it up and running.